lesson, we're going to be talking about the staff, more specifically this time, the bass clef. So we learned about the treble clef last time, this time we're going to be learning a different clef, and that's the bass clef. Again, the clef is something that appears at the beginning of each staff. The clef that is shown here is the bass clef. Each note on the bass clef has a letter name. So if you look at that first example there, we see the bass clef and we see all of the notes listed from the first line and first space all the way up to the last space and the last line. Let's jump down to exercise number two. Draw a bass clef at the beginning of the staff and write the letter name of each note. Let's do the first note together. We've drawn the bass clef. What's really important to note here is that notes on the lines and spaces in treble clef are not the same notes on the lines and spaces in the bass clef. So where you learned where the notes were on the treble clef is going to be completely different on the bass clef. So it is a little bit tricky as we continue to learn how to play the harp and we have to kind of use our brain to think treble clef, one note, bass clef, completely different note. But again, the more you practice, the more you work on it, the easier it's gonna get. So let's do number two together. We've drawn that bass clef and we're going to see that first note written on one of the spaces. So let's count up to that space. It's one, two, third space. So if we go up to our example up top and we count one, two, third space, that note is an E. Continue filling out the rest of this worksheet and I'll see you next time.